G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem on this channel. You'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. Alrighty guys, today we're going to make an ingle loom. My eldest daughter has been very keen to earn a bit of extra pocket money and to get into arts and crafts a bit more. So I thought, you know what, uh, let's make an ingle loom. Very, very inexpensive. I actually had the wood lying down uh, in my garage. I just simply had to buy some extra dowel to go with it. Um, fantastic project. Should last you a lifetime uh, if you do this well. Today's project is going to be an inkle loom. My eldest daughter is keen, with things being as they are, to get into a bit of weaving. I found some scrap wood lying around in the garage. Obviously bought it for another project and for whatever reason hasn't used it or maybe I had too much or something, I don't know. Uh, but I thought you know, when, when I get to do a bit of clearing out, I get to do a bit of making, and I did to do uh, to give something really nice and creative to my daughter. So uh, let's give it a crack, see what happens. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make the base for the ink loom. I'm using 75 centimeters. Let me just check what, what I've got here. This is a basic radiata pine, and it is approximately 14 centimeters wide by about 19, 20 millimeters thick. So very, very simple stuff. Um, you can buy this at pretty much any hardware store. In Australia, we have Bunnings. All right, let's get going. Please don't forget uh, your basic protective equipment. At least you want to be using um, some kind of eye protection, uh, hearing protection if you need to, and, and, and uh, some sort of mask for, for those of you who want to. Um, strangely, they're in a short supply at the moment. Now how the base cut, the first thing now we're going to do is cut the main part of the loom itself. Now we're going to cut the two arms that go up. <laughs> Lastly, we're going to cut the tail piece, which is what's going to cause the tension in the loom and be adjustable. I'm going to glue and screw this into place just using a very basic white PVA type glue. Screwing it down as well, I realise this is not historically accurate at all. However, uh, what it does do is it creates a, uh, an extremely strong basis which will be the foundation for this loom for many years to come. Uh, now I'm just going to mark out where the eight different pegs are going to go. Right, now we're just going to trim down a few edges.
Now I'm just going to cut all the pegs at 20 centimeters long each. And I'll need eight of them. One, two, three. Here we go, really simple inkle loom. For those of you who are interested in making your own kind of gear, this can be used for making belts, guitar straps, any kind of a sling, all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, and it is just fantastic. This has cost me almost nothing. If I was to buy the raw materials all brand new, you'd probably find it would cost $15 at a guess. A packet of screws is a couple of dollars, some wooden dowel, I don't know, maybe five, a couple of sheets of wood, three to five dollars each. It's not that much, you know. Uh, and, and I haven't obviously used all of the wood that I could have done, uh, but most of this I just simply found lying around. If you're very brash, then you can usually ask a lot of these hardware guys if you can get some of the wood. It might be slightly deformed or not to someone else's spec, and uh, it doesn't usually cost as much. There we go guys, it's super super simple, very easy to do, fantastic project to do with your kids or your grandkids or anything like this. I'm going to be doing some videos in the next couple of weeks about how to load the Inkle Loom and then how to start weaving on the Inkle Loom. For anybody who's into medieval reenactment, live action role play or the Society of Creative Anarchism, these are really great videos. They're so cheap, they're so easy, they're so straightforward to do and um, I, I think these are great projects, especially those of you who have kids like myself. These are really fantastic things to do. It doesn't take that long. I think we've taken about 15 minutes or something like that to make one of these. This piece here, I just need to explain it slightly further, is what is going to provide the tension on the loom. So the, the, uh, the threads, the, the, uh, the, the wool will go through these, come back, and then on top of this one, and you can move this up and down. Now I know there are lots of different people out there who have more fancy ones than this. This is just a very simple straightforward homemade one whilst we're all staying at home. So um, I thought this would be a, just a really simple great idea to do. Now um, this can get held in place with a, just a very simple clamp that doesn't need to cost more than you know a couple of dollars. Uh, straightforward very very easy thing to do and uh, my daughter my elder daughter Jessica who wanted this one uh, is simply going to use this to help create a little bit of extra pocket money for herself so there we go guys very simple inkle loom project uh, super straightforward very inexpensive lots of fun uh, and hopefully is going to help bring you know lots of enjoyment this is something that should last a very long time really great really enjoyed it hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and share i'll catch you in my next video